All right, let me tell you, sometimes I love when a company puts another company to shame with price and appearance before I even taste it. This is no exception. I'm excited. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. So I hit up Crystal to do my review, my public service announcement of the deal with the uh, chili cheese pups. And I've already launched that video, so you've probably already seen it. If you've missed it, probably be in the end card. But while I was there, they had something on the menu board that said not available yet. And it was uh, Southern style chicken uh, tenders or chicken strips. And uh, just before I drove away, I said to the lady, I was like, oh, it says those aren't available. She's like, oh no, we have them. Okay. And what's even more ironic, I tried to get some information as I drove away. And what do you know? Chewboom posted something about these Southern style chicken uh, strips. And I was like, whoa, that's good timing. So yeah, these are the brand new Southern style chicken strips. Now I mentioned in the uh, intro that uh, these are putting another company to shame. I'm at a test location for Arby's where they have the hand breaded chicken tenders, chicken tenders. These are chicken strips. Just look at one of these and I will link the other video. $3.99 for four of these. There was $3.99 for three of these over at Arby's and these just, I mean, appearance alone, size, price and the fact that you get four of them instead of three no brainer so let's check these out and see if they really bring the southern flair to these chicken strips let's go all right check it out right there this is one of the chicken strips i was a little disappointed uh that i read that they did have a uh, chicken dip uh to go with these i got ranch she didn't offer that to me and because i just saw it on the menu i didn't know uh everything that would have come with this so i did not get the chicken dip Something like that. Chicken dip. Uh, but here we go. Let's check it out. The Southern Style uh, Chicken Strips. Brand new from uh, Crystal. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like a cornmeal vibe. It has a really nice crunch to it, a great texture. There's almost like a little pepper involved in there, a little pepper flavor. Nothing that's hot at all, but the chicken is nicely cooked. Check it out right there. And uh, yeah, I am liking this additional breading, the southern style of this breading. Second bite. Yep, there it is. Buttermilk Ranch. Let's go for a dip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. A little triple dip action right there. Check it out right there. All right, buttermilk ranch. Mmm, crunch. Mmm, yes, please. All right, shout out Crystal. I think uh, my last three or four reviews from them have been fire have been right on, dead on. Their prices are usually great. They have great customer service. They actually reached out to me after one of my uh, previous reviews. They sent me some uh, swag, like a nice big uh, backpack full of goodies. I will probably give you a little taste of that um, in this video, uh, but I love Crystal. Every time they come correct, the last one I did was the Hangover uh, Crystal. That burger, fire. So good. One of my favorite uh, sandwiches at a fast food spot, and it came from Crystal. So what are you going to do? So uh, I really enjoy those uh, Southern style, Southern inspired chicken strips. And again, it just puts Arby's to shame. You get four of them all about the exact same size and all for the same price that they were offering for three, three dollars and 99 cents. So uh, let's give them a rating, shall we? On a scale of one to 100 with one meaning don't even waste your money and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the Southern Style Chicken Strips from Crystal a rating of. Like them. I like them a lot. Um, 89. 
We're going to give them an 89, one notch away from 9 out of 10 if you're keeping score at home, logging it into your endorsement notebooks. I am a really big fan of those. I just wish there might have just been a little bit more flavor. That little bit of pepper was good. The texture was good. I want something just a little bit more, something that sets it apart just a little bit more, and that probably go over the 90 range. So uh, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, chicken tenders. Light up the comments. What is your go-to spot for chicken tenders? All right, bonus footage, show of hands, comments below, uh, chicken or steak? Which one? Tell me, which one do you gravitate to more, chicken or steak? It's the question of the day. Shout out Two Cent Chick. Question of the day.